everybody and welcome back to another episode of Steve's World. My name is Danielle. I am the Broadchick from Broadchick Games. Oh, little girl, we forgot to tell you, call you and tell you to stop bringing newspapers. Oh, we're covered over in newspapers. Okay, but anyways, this is where we left Steve off, just uh, snoozing away. Uh, and we'll get him up soon and start the day. Now, recap on last episode. We got in a fight with a werewolf. He was mean to us. We called his mother a poodle. We met an alien. We are on the rocks doing our mixology job. The guy at the bar says customers are complaining, so we need to learn more mixology. But we're broke. We don't even have enough money to buy the second mixology book, so we had to get a soul-crushing job. The last job Steve got caused him to go bald. So, however, that was at a grocery store. This is at a bookstore. It's just part-time. We don't want to crush the man's dreams of becoming a great bartender. So, I figured he'd do okay at a bookstore. Maybe it wouldn't cause him to go bald. But we're going to find out today because today is his first day of work. But we've got to turn this around. We have an event coming up, too. I know it's not an event. It's, um, let's see here. Oh, it's getting late, Steve. Go ahead and wake up before we do that. Okay. Go take a shower, man. No, don't go there. Go to the shower. Take brooding shower. Anyways, we have been asked to read a mixology book that um, the guy that we actually got in a fight with and called his mother a poodle uh, found in his attic. Uh, so we've been asked to read that. It'll give us simoleons. Uh, make our relationship better with that guy, which we want to pack, so we need to make our relationship better with the werewolves of, um, of this town. But first come first, it is, uh, we, we need to just fulfill his, uh, his mixology dreams. I can't remember what time his new job starts. Uh, it starts in one day at 4 p.m. Oh, it's Sunday. Okay. Well, that gives us time to read that book. I wonder if they put it in our... They did. Memoirs of a Mixologist. Uh, let's read this. He's getting hungry, but he's okay for now. So as soon as he gets out of the shower, he can read that. Hopefully, it will increase his mixology skill and we'll get some simoleons, make a new friend. Hopefully things will work out for us. Go, Steve, go. Alright. What's he doing? I thought he was going to read the book. Steve, I told you to read a book. So stubborn. I do what I want. Okay, yeah, get comfy. Okay, he's going to read the book on the bed. Boy, he is taking his precious sweet time, too. It's raining. It's raining in The Sims, so great time to... What? Okay, there we go. Now he's reading. Now he's doing what he's supposed to do. Good boy. Good boy, do you want a Scooby snack? Okay. <laughs> well, he's a werewolf. He's, he's a puppy. What do puppies like? Puppies like Scooby snacks. <laughs> Let's fast forward this. Get him to uh, getting busy with that book. Hopefully it won't take him long to read. Yes, look, his mixology is going up. So we really needed that. Oh, bad storm. Lightning. Thunderbolts and lightning. Very, very frightening me. Galileo, Galileo. <laughs> Alright, Steve. Learn up, buddy. Let's let's slow this down just a bit. Because uh, the rain's making us choppy. Uh, he wants to moonlight at a bar. Uh, mix a skill, gain drink. That would be nice. That way he can mix it for himself. Um, earn 400 from mixology. Get in a fight with a vampire. Yeah, he's he's been ballsy recently. He's been wanting to like kick everybody's ass. It was very nice of this guy to loan us this book after we called his mother a poodle. I guess he didn't take it too offensively. Which is good for us. Because, yeah. Let's see. We also need to call that little girl. <laughs> and get rid of... 
One, two, three, four, five, six. Just from this camera angle, I see six newspapers that need to be recycled. We really need to cancel the newspaper subscription. And we need to get that glittery basket out of here, too, that the College Llama brought. Listen, College Llama, we're not going to college. Unless y'all offer bartending classes, which I'm pretty sure you don't, we're not going to college. So, I wonder if the flowers ever need to be watered. Apparently not, because I can't click on them. Okay, this book is taking a while. Oh, and he's getting hungry. Okay, Steve, take a break from reading the book, because you're hungry, man. And you gotta pee real bad. I gotta fix the scrolling on this thing. It gets out of hand. Use the bathroom. Use the bathroom. Stop doing whatever the hell you were about to do and go use the bathroom. Okay. So serve dinner, make gourmet pay. No, we wanna we wanna have dinner, and we want. Wait a minute, we have leftovers. Eat leftovers. No, we don't. Those were going bad. We forgot. Have dinner. Wait, what are you doing, Steve? Steve, what are you doing, Steve? Oh, he stopped. I think he was gonna go eat out of the trash can. He's that hungry. Wow. Oh, we really need to clean his house. That cabinet is so moldy. Like, stupid, wicked moldy. I know you're hungry, man. We're working on it. You're going to eat up, and then you're going to finish reading that book. We're going to have a productive night. It's not going to be a productive night of making money, but it's going to be a productive night. So you're going to read the book, then we're going to clean the house, we're going to do all that boring shit that adults have to do. Oh, watch this. What, with the bad table manners again? Oh, no, he looked like he was going to have great table manners. He sat down, He <laughs> and now he's up with his face in his plate again. Ladies, the real Steve doesn't eat like this. He's a gentleman. Don't judge his werewolf form. Don't make the real suffer, Steve suffer for for Sim Steve. Don't make him do it. He's good looking, nice guy. <laughs> what the hell am I trying to do? Pitch him or something? Okay, Steve. Oh, did y'all hear that chuckle? Sim Steve thinks it's funny. Sim Steve thinks I'm funny. Just like the real Steve. We've got the bestest, 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 best friend ever. Okay. Um, book, 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 book. Oh, we have to go get it out of his inventory again. Okay, Steve. I know we need to clean, but right now this is more important. So go read the book. Read him with that garbage can. It's just out in the middle of the floor. I plan on doing a bonus episode that is a redo of his house. Because this is heinous. Like, as soon as we get the funds, I'm going to redecorate this entire house. Because this is just ridiculous. <laughs> it's so ugly. I thought about building him a new house. So, I'll take votes in comments down below. If anybody has any ideas that they have. Should I build him a new house or should I keep with this and make it look better? But that's a little ways off, because right now we definitely do not have the money. We are broke bitches. Okay, Steve. You learned that book, buddy. Oh, we have 8,000 lifetime, 8,591 lifetime rewards. Okay, so I don't think I'm going to cash those in until about 10000 Because until you get to 10000 you can't really get anything all that spectacular. And for those of you who are not familiar with The Sims, you'll learn what lifetime rewards are, I'm sure, in this episode. So, if not this episode, then the next, because we will cash those in as soon as it hits 10000 He's getting closer. You're getting her done, Steve. You can do it, buddy. Meantime, let's look around and see if there's anything we can sell. Because we were so broke. I don't know, maybe I should just leave it all alone. 
Although, I don't see the point in these stupid little columns out here. This is the reason I kind of want to build him a new house. This is just a waste of time and money and effort over here. But if I take him down, it'll make the entire house look stupid. So, I may just build him a new house. Alright, man. You are a slow reader. That's okay. We have patience and we love you. I wonder what you do to own your own bar. I've seen where you can purchase real estate. So maybe that's how. Maybe we have to have a bar. Oh, that'd be cool. Have an episode where we build him his own bar. I wonder if you could have like a bar downstairs and an apartment upstairs. I'm going to do some research on this. But for now, we're broke. I'm getting ahead of myself. But he is almost done reading the book that takes forever. This is the book that never ends. Ooh, report in. Let's go, man. I know it's raining, but you can do this. You can shake it out of your fur. Just don't shake it on the dude that you're going to go see. Although he's a werewolf too, so he will probably understand. Oh, he's gonna run there? It's looking a little choppy. Oh. Oh, Steve, come back. You ran so fast the camera stopped following you. Yes, report in. What's this? Fight a werewolf. Ooh, I'm tempted to get rid of the fight. Uh, yes, okay. I'm getting rid of the fight a vampire thing. Because we can fulfill this, like, right now. Okay, so we're reporting in right now. Uh, greet rudely. More. Show off teeth. Sniff inappropriately. Talk about the hell. Talk about the rain. What? We had it here yesterday. Funny? Nope. That Growl at. <sighs> nuzzle. We're not going to nuzzle him. We called his mother a poodle. Friendly? Practice fighting. Yes, okay. Practicing fighting is friendly. Okay. See so if we can whoop this guy's ass again. Yay! While there wasn't anything spectacular in terms of the lost drink recipe, there was quite a bit of family history in the job. Whoa! You go, Steve. You whoop him. Ooh! Tackle! Hell yeah! Whoop his ass! Remember, his mother is a poodle. You can take him. Oh, there's a car here. Somebody call the popo. Because that doesn't look like the popo. No, it's just a chick. Oh, oh, we did it again. Yeah, Steve. Whoop his ass. Hell yeah. Okay, wait a minute. We just fought a werewolf, and it didn't count. That's not cool. Oh, she has pretty wings. Werewolf, how the moon, transforming a human. That's not fair. Why didn't it count? Mean, argue, scare, mock appearance, insult, imply mother was poodle, growl at, complain about inappropriateness. Do we gotta make him mad? Form pack. Let's see what form pack does. I don't think we're going to be able to get the fight thing off this guy because we like him. Or, we don't exactly like him, but we need to like him because we need a pack. So we're forming a pack. Hopefully. Don't turn us down, man. I know we've had a past. But I'm willing to work towards better things. I think we can be together as a werewolf community and be strong. Did he accept? I'm too tired to hang out right now. Maybe later. Boo! You're turning us down because we whooped your ass. I know how it's going. Oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. The whole screen froze. There we go. Okay. Yeah, go home, Steve. After he turned us down. It's okay. We know your mother's poodle. We don't want you in, your, in our pack anyways. I hear the aliens again. She came back to visit us again. Where is she? I hear her spaceship. Is she invisible under the umbrella? 
Yes! Oh, this might be a different alien. We'll find out. Hold on. Pause. Is this a different alien? Okay. Um, let's go this way. I think this is a different alien. I sleep. Talk about the rain. Talk about hell. Sniff inappropriately. Shoe. Great intro. Steve, do you not like aliens? Okay, let's go. Let's invite him inside. I think it's a boy this time. I can't tell. Okay, he is promised one of my clones. But, but, big but. Although I think this is a dude. I might, if, if I get the chance, I may marry him off to an alien. If I get the chance, but I'm pretty sure this is a dude. Invite the dude inside, Steve. Oh yeah, that's a dude alien. Invite him inside. What? Is he leaving already? Man. Don't leave. Okay. Yep, it's a totally different alien. Gypso. Yeah, come on in, man. Crack open a cold one. I'll mix some drinks. That's what I do. Yeah. Come on in. I'll mix some drinks. Make quick drinks. There we go. Make us some drinks. Have a little laugh. Yeah. Go on in, Steve. Accompany the alien. How cool. Let's turn this so the fridge isn't in the way. Okay, make some drinks, then friendly ask about career. Do aliens have careers? Friendly, get to know. Friendly. Um, sure, everybody likes cats. I think this is a dude. I'm pretty sure this is a dude. Alright, we got some drinks on the bar, dude, if you want some. They're right over here. Okay. Yeah, it's a dude. Totally a dude. Fog. Fog thinks Steven is okay. Okay, let's see here. Let's do something funny. Um, show internet cat videos. Why not? Um, funny. Joke about shedding. Everybody loves a good shedding joke. Let's keep this alien around. We want to make friends. We like aliens. Okay, so fog is unemployed. Oh, we're dripping wet from where we were out in the rain. Okay. He still thinks we're okay. He likes cats. That's awesome. He likes cats. Talk about feelings. <laughs> Ask sign. I whoa! I accidentally crip that. Ah, clicked on romantic. That's funny. Um, true. Tell funny story. Okay. Friendly. Just keep talking to him, man. We want to be friends with this alien. Just keep talking to him. We seem to be getting along. Okay. Oh, he's leaving! Is it time for the mothership to come pick you up, Fog? That's okay. You're always welcome here at Casa Le Da Wolf. <laughs> I think I said that totally wrong. <laughs> You're always welcome. Let's see if we can see a spaceship. The mothership's gonna come get him. Steve is apparently going to bed. Beam up to the mothership. Oh, he's signaling them. Yeah, let's go. Alright. That's awesome. I wish you could call aliens on the phone, but you can't. We don't have intergalactic calling. Well, we do, but the men in black are keeping that shit under wraps. 
sad times. Okay, wait, before you went to bed. Oh god, we were up all night. But that's our schedule now, because we're a bartender, and that's what bartenders do. Okay, so he needed food, he needed to eat, he needed to go to the bathroom, he needed to take a shower, he needs to clean. This is just bad. We need a better bed, but we don't have the money. We now, however, do have the money to buy the second book. Ooh, jeez. We do, however, have the money to buy the second book in our mixology series so that our, you know, so we can get our stuff up, which is awesome. Fall Festival has made its way to town, setting up just in time to get everyone in the mood for Spooky Day. Okay, so that holiday coming up is Spooky Day. Okay, so on Spooky Day, we'll go visit the festival. We had a fun time last time. I need to go home now. Bye! Okay. We still didn't call the little girl and tell her not to bring any more newspapers. Oh, God, and we need to pay our bills. Steve, you got so much to do, man. You're so far behind. You just don't even know it. That's okay. Sleep now and dream beautiful dreams of bookshelves. Apparently we're... And chalkboards and garbage. Did you go to a very trashed school? You've left way too many papers on this lot. Clean this mess up and I'll think about delivering another one. Whoopsies. My bad. Listen, little girl. We are bachelors. Okay, bachelors tend to be messy. Don't mess with us. Don't judge us. This is our way of doing things. Don't judge us, little girl. We got better things to do. Okay, so he's getting up on his own, even though he hasn't had enough sleep. That's okay. Take brooding shower. Use the bathroom. Actually, use the bathroom first. Then take brooding shower. Then have breakfast. No, not hunt. Have breakfast. Have breakfast. Waffles. I'm making waffles. Okay. Fast forward. Okay, we need to take care of some errands this morning. We just need to stack him up with stuff to do. Okay, so pay bills. Did you break the commode again, Steve? No. Okay, we're good. I heard him flush it like five times. Then we're going to uh, clean and because it's disgusting, clean because it's disgusting, and then recycle newspapers. The reason recycle newspapers is at the end is because I think he'll keep doing it until they're all recycled, or at least all the old ones are. And then we need to call that little girl and cancel the newspaper. We need to buy that book again today, too. Or, again. Uh, we need to buy the book. The Mixology book. He seems to enjoy making waffles. Okay, good you didn't burn them. Go ahead, shut down. We need to change him back from being a werewolf. He's like constantly in a werewolf state because I do not take good enough care of him. He's always unhappy. Look, filthy surroundings. <laughs> Hungry. Hungry like the wolf. I just do not take good enough care of you, Steve. Just do not. Okay, let's fast forward. Hurry up and get done eating, Steve, with your bad table manners so we can clean crap. Before we gotta go to work at four. Which I think the carpool shows up like an hour before work, which is stupid. This is this town ain't that big. Pay the bills before the repo man shows up. How long does it take to pay some bills, Steve? There you go. There you go. 
Here's the thing, though. Once we buy this mixology book, we're going to have, like, 136 bucks to our name. Okay, the carpool will come in about an hour. Steve, you clearly do not have enough energy. But we do what we gotta do. This may put his days and knots back in order. Because <laughs> he'll be so tired. Yeah, clean that stove, buddy. Fight that grime. Fight the grime. That. Oh. It's raining here, too, at my house. I just heard the thunder. Yeah, that stove is just filthy. It's going to take him an hour just to get the stove clean. Okay, we're going to speed this up. Oh, ching. It sparkled. He got it so clean it sparkles. There we go. Alright, that's clean. Go start recycling newspapers till the carpool arrives. Oh, never mind. Carpool's here. That's more important. Go, man, go. Not this again. Steve, I know it's soul crushing labor. Uh, don't throw up. Just see him make the throw up motion. Steve, you have to go. Steve, you have to go to work. Okay, close that out. If you go bald again, I will let you quit. But for now, please try to go to work. <sighs> Dude. Go. Go to work. <laughs> he is just wasting time. You're going to be late for your first day of work. Again. And then you're going to go bald. Again. You can do this, man. There we go. I think he supposedly changed into a uniform, but I don't see one. Oh, no. Is this game just that glitchy, or is he honestly refusing to go? Steve, you're late for work. What was that sound? Okay, go to work. Dude, come on, man. You gotta go to work. like the game is just froze and just hell bent on him not going to work. Okay, go here. Come on, man. Do something. Alright. Go there. He'll do that. Now, go to work. He's gonna miss... His first day of work, just completely. Just because he don't want to go. Steve, this isn't cool anymore, man. <laughs> he's just standing there. It thinks he's at work. It says he's going to work. But he's just standing there. Wow. Okay interesting alrighty then okay what if we what if we do this from another direction maybe he'll go then he just does not want to go to soul crushing labor apparently okay bookstore work let's see if he'll do that We may have to underline the game. Like, sometimes this game glitches so bad that I have to underline it just to make it work. And bring it back up again. Yep. Okay. Let's try this again. 
Alrighty. Bringing it back up. Let's hope it works this time. Steam man. Go to work. Is it just the part-time jobs that are glitched out? My part-time jobs are glitched. Hey, okay, see, so he looks like he's changing into a uniform. We're trying this again. Uh, hopefully every day is not this kind of struggle. If so, he's going to become one hell of a rider. Because he can do that from home. He's just not going. Interesting. Let's see if maybe we get him to that lot if he'll go. This is very interesting. Normally underlining the game fixes any glitch problems I have. Alright, zoom into that lot. Okay, hold on. I'm scrolling past it. Here. Alright, go here. What? Did that show him as bald again? Really? This is what we look like now? Steve, this is why you're not going to work? Oh my god. Well, you're not bald. But they shaved your head and gave you nerd glasses. Oh, he's going to go there. He just don't want to go into work because of the way they made him look. Wow. What? Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, go there. Bookstore. Work. Alright, he's on his way. He's in a taxi. Oh, God. He stopped. As soon as I told him to stop, he stopped using the taxi. He saw a deer? <laughs> he refuses to go to work! What the hell is this? Oh my god! Okay, so he doesn't look that way, though. Maybe because he's in werewolf form. Okay. Go here. Oh, the glasses are on him, though. I wonder if he gets paid for going to work. This is going to be interesting if he does. <clears throat> Go to the building. Let's see if maybe we get him in the parking lot. If he'll go into the building. If not, our next option is to dumpster dive. I think. Apparently, Sim Steve is going to prefer that. Because they keep cutting his hair. Yep, he ain't gonna do it. What's this? Watch a deer. Oh, he ain't gonna do it. Alright. If anybody knows what is causing this, please comment down below. But I told him if they made him go bald, I wouldn't make him go to the job anyways. And look what they have done to Steve. Look at him. They cut all his damn hair off. Steve, apparently a normal job is just not for us. Quit the job. Then buy a book. We're going to spend some of our money. I, I read you loud and clear, buddy. That this job... Look, he'll go to quit the job. Watch this. Yup. Yep. He's... Oh my god, Sim Steve has a mind of his own. If anybody knows what is causing this, please comment down below. I have a feeling it is because he is, a, he is in werewolf form. Every time I have tried to make him go to work. I don't think you can be in werewolf form and go to work. Which is discriminatory. 
they're discriminating against our race. How rude. But, yeah. Look, he's going to come all the way. He's, he's on his way. He's going to quit the job. He would not move at all until I told him he could quit the job. Wow. Oh, there's two dumpsters out back. We'll go dumpster diving while we're here. Boy, the links some people will go to. He was he was on the verge of getting fired anyways, I'm sure. Yep, he's gonna go quit the job. Dumpster dive. Dumpster dive. We'll make our money this way, Steve. Yes, we want to quit the job. Cause he won't go to it. And now you get to be smelly. Put that nose to good use. worked up the courage to quit his job that thing said he never had the courage to go to the job what's wrong with you Steve you don't want to work for the man I see it I see no soul crushing labor for you you have your dreams go in there and buy that book we'll be down to a hundred and something dollars no 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 we paid the bills we'll be down to sixty seven dollars wow Wow. Mixology Volume 1, Mixology Volume 2. That's what we're looking for. Here we go. Volume 2. 500 simoleons. We have 67 simoleons. We are broke. Come over here, man. Do some dumpster diving. I know you're tired, but we gotta make some money. In the dumpster we go. Look at that. He's just digging his little heart out. He looks like he's getting into this, too. Let me turn this. He looks like he's all in this. Art thingy you was found by... Okay. He found an art thingy. He looks like he's enjoying this. What you got, man? Back in we go. Yes, I know we're smelly now. But you wouldn't go to a normal job, so this is how we gotta be. This is how we're going to make our money. Exquisite bistro chair. We're going to dive for shit. <laughs> I'm going to let him do it as long as he'll do it, too. Because we, we need that money, honey. Okay, yeah, go to the next one. Can we go back to this? No. He'll probably be too tired by then. We have 67 simoleons to our name, man. 67. We found a butterfly. This is too good. I gotta, I, I gotta get a picture of this. Hold on, Susie pops out again. I gotta get a picture of this. This is how we have to make our money. Whoop. Get back in there, man. I wanted a picture. Get back in there. I know you're stinky. I know you're tired. But this is the lot you drew in life. This is what you wanted to do. I do what I want. Pause. <laughs> okay, we'll get the picture this way. This is just, this is still good. Still good. Okay. We're going to take a picture. This is just too funny picture <laughs> his feet are sticking out you get it man get it find that good shit at the bottom <laughs> let's take another picture let's take a picture of his feet up in the air <laughs> wow just wow man. Okay, we gotta go home and get a shower. We're stinky. You can stop, Steve. Let's go home. Go home. You. Let's see what all he got. Let's follow him. Oh, yeah, it's in the family inventory, and we can't check that till we're back home. Okay. 
in the taxi. Oh, he feels sick. Oh, all the dumpster. But you wouldn't go to work, Steve. This is what we had to do. Gotta make that money somehow, babe. Gotta make that money. Here, come take a shower so that maybe you won't puke. And get those damn glasses off your face. Oh, he's grumpy. Look at that face. He's a grumpy whistle puss. Look at that face. Okay, so tomorrow, children and teens can visit their neighbors and begin trick-or-treating. Okay. Go get you a shower, man. You've earned it. Ooh. He looks like he's about to pass out or something. Go get you a shower, dude. You've earned it. Maybe he won't puke if we get him clean quick enough. <laughs> it's saying that the site... He still has dirty... Sir oh, it's the plate and the cups. Steve, you're having it rough, man. Look at that grumpy whistle. Push is just so grumpy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh! Oh, you gotta make up money somehow, babe. Okay. Go to bed before you break the toilet. Did you break the toilet? Okay, it flushed. I know, man. You don't feel good. It's okay. It's okay. What was his haul? Let's see what his haul was. That's it? <laughs> oh, God. Sell all. Okay, let's see how much money we make. Oh, okay. We made like 150 bucks, roughly. Okay, at least that's something. That will pay the bills while we read that book. Wow. Okay. Close that. Close that. What's all this stuff showing up for? Go away. Okay. <laughs> Live mode. Alright. Go to bed, Steve. Nighty night, bud. Poor guy. This is what we're reduced to in the sim world. I wonder if he'll dream about garbage now. He's dreaming about scraps. He's hungry and a birthday cake. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to end this episode here. Thanks for watching. Hopefully, um, Steve will have a better go of it next episode. But this episode, he refused once again to go to work. I do what I want, he says. And now we're resorting to dumpster diving. But we got the next mixology book. So maybe, just maybe, things will get better. <laughs> Alright, yep, he's dreaming about garbage. Alright, thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye!